Disc Mania has been known in recent history to produce some extremely overstable discs, and it seems to be a lot of the recent runs fly even a lot more overstable than you would have originally expected. The new PDs, the new FDs, all seem to be very overstable. So Discmania has finally made a disc with a minus four turn. We've got the new forge function here. I'm gonna be comparing it to an FD and to the Lumen Essence. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. I'm really curious to see how this thing flies. We'll go FD, then we'll go Essence, and then we'll go Function. FD flying just pretty much as dead straight as they come. We've got the Essence coming in at a minus two turn, hopefully getting a little bit more left-right motion than the minus one FD. Definitely holding on to that turn a lot longer. And we'll try and release this on a similar angle, just kind of nose down up in the air and see. First throw, forge function. Oh, that thing is nice. We got like a little baby turn out of the FD, like a nice sort of long holding turn with the essence, and then a really long holding turn with the function. Very promising first throw. And before we throw everything again, let's take a quick look at the side profile. It's got a nice tall dome, pretty extreme shoulder, which is going to account for that nice glide that you saw in the first throw there. Um, but the shape under the wing here definitely has that sort of more concave-esque wing shape. If they wanted to make it even more understable, they would make this a little more convex here, and it would just basically turn straight over into a roller. Um, but with this kind of shape, with the the way the shoulder is and the dome is, you wind up getting a disc that's gonna turn with a lot of glide. And because of this bottom, in my opinion, it's still gonna come out a little bit at the end, which makes it a really usable and fun to throw. And as you can see on that first throw, a very easily workable fairway driver. We'll go FD, Essence, and then Function, same order as last time, starting with the FD. It's funny how over time the FDs never really get any worse or, or better. Sometimes new runs are a little more stable, but FD at a minus one one just never really deviates from that flight path. There's the Essence. My experience with the Lumen Essence was that it's a little bit more stable than my Neo Essence. It's actually quite a bit more stable than my Neo Essence. So I think if you do enjoy the Neo Essence, the Lumen one, could potentially be a really good option for you. And now we've got the function. Just put it up in the air and see what happens. <laughs> got a hold of that one a lot more. Hopefully we hit a tree. If that went right enough, it's gonna be gone forever in the water. That was that minus four that it says according to the flight numbers. Um, hopefully we can find it. We'll come and we'll throw it back a few more times. And I think in the past, Discmania has kind of gate kept themselves from certain demographics. Um, a lot of female players, a lot of masters players, and a lot of new players with slower arms probably tried to disc mania disc out from the new stuff at some point and found it just to be way too overstable for them. You likely will not have that problem with the function. As we just saw, I mean, I only throw right around 60 miles an hour, give or take, you know, two miles an hour in either direction, like 58 to 62. And this thing like, turn pretty hard all the way over. Let's try and make the correction. We've got the tailwind coming back. We'll go FD, essence, function. It's funny how consistent the FD is. I've had that FD for years and it just has never deviated from the flight. It's an old Innova run, pre-Nate Perkins Night Strike FD. Now I've got the luminescence. And then we've got the forge function, the flip dog. I'm not sure what happened on that first throw. It flew like kind of stable, but now she's really flipping a lot. Um, let's go grab it. We'll throw it back into the headwind one more time. We're gonna throw the super high up in the air, hyzer flip and see if we can get it to actually stay in the air before it just tips over and dies. I would say during the first few years, um, once 
Discmania broke away from Innova, they really didn't make many good discs for casual players. The new MD3s were pretty overstable. They came out the new FDs, those are pretty stable. They came out the new PDs, wildly overstable. Then the new uh, C-Line DD3s, wildly overstable. Not really great discs for the average, I just play for fun disc golfer. And that's the biggest buyer's market in disc golf. So now that I, they're going to start coming out with more discs that are more beginner and amateur friendly, I do expect to see Discmania become a lot more popular than they currently are right now. Let's give everything one last throw. We'll wrap up the video. I just love throwing this old Glow FD. If these were easier to find and replace, this would be something I would consider just keeping in the bag, non-negotiable all, at all times. Really powering up on that one. I mean, the thing goes, flies nicely. Now we've got the essence we're throwing back into just a couple mile an hour headwind here. <sighs> Those lumen essences having a little bit of turn, but I find that essence goes definitely quite a bit farther than an FD. So that is a really nice one-two punch. If you do like the new Discmania fairway lineup, I think the essence and the FD are a really nice one-two punch. So I guess that is pretty noteworthy. Then we've got the flip dog, the forge function, the plastic too. Uh, also noteworthy, it's pretty bendy and malleable. The other two discs I'm throwing are relatively stiff. This is not relatively stiff. This is a this is a flop dog and a flip dog. <sighs> Come on, nope. Oh, off the bridge. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is the new forge function from Discmania. Although it's too flippy for me. I do play disc golf at like a crappy MPO level. I throw around 60 miles an hour. And if I go play a tournament, I'll play like somewhere between like 940 and 980 rated disc golf. So you can take that for what it's worth. I probably throw a little harder than the average player, but less hard than a good competent pro player. So that's kind of where my skill level stands and where my arm speed stands. And it still wants to like really flip on me pretty easily. Definitely something that's even too understable for me. So that's my thoughts on the function, but I think it could be a disc for juniors, slower arm speed players, masters players that like that sort of grippier, tackier plastic kind of has like a soft caster plastic disc feel in my opinion. Anyway, go get yours over at power grip USA. They're always the sponsor of every video. They show me a ton of support and you guys have been showing me support by ordering over on their website. So I really appreciate you guys for that. Then obviously Go check out bergsdisksports.com. This is the bag that I'll be using indefinitely for the foreseeable future. I love this disc golf bag. This is the Berg Sport V4 disc golf backpack. It's got all the features you could ever want. Holds a tons of, tons of discs. Got the little foam pouch. We've got an insulated cooler. Um, that's where I keep my electronics to keep all my um, electronics safe when I'm out on these hot sunny days. Um, got the umbrella holder slash stool holder. Best disc golf bag on the market. If you haven't tried one, go check one out over at the website. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel and take care.